Thank you. Time for some World Cup games, I guess. Uh, we have France versus Netherlands in World Cup round two. Yoiko versus Kelfesil. While we wait for the players, um, let's have a look at the deck lists. First up, we have whoever loads first. We have Kelfessels, Scorpion, Keeper of the Midnight Garden. Seed of the Penhand Keeper of... Oh, it's the... It's the Keeper Dishonor deck. Backhand and Compliment. And Display of Power. One Comic Twist though, that's interesting. And one Opium Wastrel. After this character enters play during a conflict, choose to participate in character. Set the character's glory to zero. Okay. Play only if you're less honorable than. Hmm. Okay. One Catch Co. One Fear Madness. Interesting. Anything special in the Dynasty side? Not really. Three falling diplomat. Uh, no uh, truth, truth seekers, though. I think those are kind of popular as of now. We have court games for shame, for forced edict as the uh, restricted card. One maze evolution, one Kiriko. And one Kikyo, okay. Yeah. Hardcore is under fun, right? Let's have a look at some uh, dragon here from Noiko. Um, Keeper of Water, Crab Splash, Sacred Sanctuary, Appalling Authority, Restoration, Shameful, Midnight Revels. Uh, Dynasty side, one Tranquil Philosopher. Otherwise, nothing special. Three Hitomi. Uh, I'm not sure if Dragon plays that a lot. Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, I haven't seen Hitomi in a while, actually.
I mean, she's a good character, but there are a lot of good characters in Dragon. Two to get many kids, interesting. On the conflict side, we have nothing special. Three, no, three fight on. Uh, as the splash with two human skirmishers. Two bonsai, three court games. Breaking punch, void fist as the restricted card. Um, I guess three cloud of mind is. Uh, bit on the interesting side with uh, let's see three six nine twelve I see twelve no uh, you can as well okay as fifteen she can so three cloud of mind is reasonable <laughs> now we go with the typos So, uh, oh, we can have a look at the promises. Secret cash, entrenched, meditations, pilgrimage, rebels. So yeah, a lot of scorpion have gone to pilgrimage instead of shameful display. Uh, shameful uh, looks like the most obvious choice with the uh, free dishonor. Uh, but I can see pilgrimage. Uh, if opponent attacks like air or uh, if you don't uh, care about defending a conflict uh, yeah I can see pilgrimage being a good choice actually because you don't uh, the way you lose a scorpion is by stronghold break pretty much so having strong provinces, uh, high province strength is probably pretty good because a lot of clans will probably have to spend some card or some resource to break pilgrimage, especially if you defend. Smiley. So we're waiting on Kelfessel here. I haven't played L5R in like a week. I've been, and there's been a lot of stuff going on, some graduation stuff and uh, other happenings. It's good to be back uh, watching and playing some games. And soon the first dynasty pack will come to Sweden, as well as the grain pack. <laughs> Hopefully. So we can finally, so I can finally lose to uh, OG. Lots of people have negative attitudes about the sun index. Why is that? Um, I see this on the decks as uh, the, uh, if you play magic gathering, uh, there's an archetype of deck called a burn deck, which means that if your opponent, uh, uh, which means that your opponent doesn't really interact a lot with your board, uh, 
and um, it just means that if it draws enough uh, cards to make uh, you lose 20 life, which is the win condition for winning in magic, uh, they win. Uh, it's pretty much the same. It's can no, it's pretty not pretty much. It's kind of the same here. But if your opponent draws three backhanded complement, uh, there's really not much you can do about it. So it's kind of like a burn deck, uh, and they, 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 yeah, they play a, a completely different game. They don't care about your board that much. Uh, in Elfavar, that's not true. Actually, true, because you have to uh, defend and use for shames, you know, you know. But um, the wing they have a completely different wing condition that you can't really uh, control. The only way to control it is. Uh, with the airing, pretty much. Um, my modern neck was burned. Maybe I should be on the side. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, I play burn in in magic, so I can't really talk down on this honor, even though I hate this honor in L5R. Uh, yeah. Well, that's not strictly true. I don't always play. Burn. Only most of the time. I'm ready. Okay, we're ready to go here. So, <laughs> toilet break first. Yeah, exactly, Dunzo. Um, this honor is a very different playstyle. Um, in the way that. Uh, the long crab game is also a different playstyle from, you know, like Unicorn. Um, and that's what makes uh, card games and, uh, well, pretty much any game that has different factions and uh, archetypes so great. Because there's something for everyone here. Though we can probably, probably all agree that crab sucks, right? Crab is ass to play against. Everyone agrees, right? Even crab players agree, I think. Oh, uh, by the way, three I can swim. That's interesting. So he's really going for this uh, uh, bid high uh, strategy here. Um, forgot the clocks. Uh, with uh, the I can swims and the opium wastrel. Um, probably gonna use waste of illusion to leverage. Uh, uh, the bids all right we ready to go uh, no so we have scorpion on first player Let's see. Zoom in a bit. Is that all right? It looks all right. Oh, 
But yeah, that's true shoot. So we have Blackmail Artist and Imperial Palace and Keeper for Kill Fessil and ooh, probably just a Doom Shigenia for uh, Yoiko. Yeah, so we have Black Man Artist on Faith and Michigan. Do we have any uh, assassinations in uh, the Dragon deck? One assassination. Just good to know, even though he's probably not, not gonna play it because it's against Scorpion. Kelfessis passes his first conflict. Thinking about an airing there for. Split second, but decides against it. With three sensors in, in the deck, he's probably uh, looking to get the favor here. Nyoiko passes his conflict as well. I think Kelfasil is kind of fine here with passing everything. He gets the favor, uh, gets to throw a keeper into the bin. Don't you get any of finding pilgrimage? Ooh, Imperial Palace pilgrimage. That's a really good flop for Kill Fessil. Doesn't fan, plays way after Scorpion. Interesting. Just the Dishonored train starts. to go not much Kelfessel can do here he can probably play Bansai if he has one or he plays a Tattooed Wanderer with no fate, okay really wants to break this I guess Reprieve on Tattooed Wanderer, okay do we see a calling in favors from Kelfessil? Did he run calling in favors even? He did not. He has no settlement control. Okay. Hurricane punch. Do we have an assassination from Kelfessil? No, he passes. Ooh. And display of power. Okay. Uh, this card says court games. So Kefel still, still uh, wins the favor. Um, and he is up on board. And up one card. Down one faith. Down one province. Um, kind of even still, I guess. Keeps the alibi artist though. Interesting. Probably gonna see. Either Mitsu or Retsugu here. Yeah, Retsugu with three fate. Probably gonna see a manipulator from Kelfasil. <clears throat> My back. That's one display of power. Gone from Kelfessil, uh, which means that the airing might be open. And Kelfessil doesn't really have much military defense here, with no uh, fate worse than death. Yeah, we could be looking at a at an airing here, unless of course Kelfessil has uh, his second. Display of power in hand. By the fawning diplomat as well, sure. Finger Jade on Retsugo, that's a reasonable choice. Seeing as Kelvessel doesn't have any attachment control, uh, Dragon can just play all the attachments he wants here.
Guardian Kami. Yeah, I guess uh, because if you place it into the conflict, it's just gonna get dueled and killed. Uh, going water for first conflict into secret cash. Oh, that's a really good uh, ring by Nyoiko actually, because uh, watering doesn't really do much if you use if you defend with Guardian Kami here and. Uh, um, if he wins the uh, watering, he will bow the Guardian Kami. So that uh, pre-conflict Kami buy was not it does not work out for Kilfessel here. He does defend and bow. I guess he can do that. Um, He did salvage the situation there, but um, yeah, there's gonna be more stuff here. Skirmisher, Kiriko, oh no, he triggered the effect just because, you know, and then he got bowed. That is something that uh, you have to remember now against Scorpion, uh, Kiriko. But that's the one off Kiriko, I think. Yeah, ouch indeed. Uh, but he did kind of waste that the Guardian Kami Kelfasil. So uh, Noiko isn't that far behind. He's up on fate here. And here comes the airing though. Finding restoration of balance that is not breaking anytime soon. That's a great find for Kelfasil. No defense. Moving in the favor with uh, Tattooed Wanderer. Yeah, it, it was a pretty bad, it was a uh, low value Kiriko. Uh, yeah, that's true. So we see the uh, Kelfessel taking the airing, getting those two keepers. And Neoiko is forced to pass his last conflict because he doesn't want to get unopposed here. And Kelfessel passes his last conflict as well. Interesting, could have poked with like the Fawning Diplomat um, just to get a fate off of one of the rings, I guess. So, New York go down to 5 honor. Which means that it's down on to 1 if it doesn't uh, bid correctly. Because of course Kilfessil has all three backhanded compliments all the time, right? That's how this game works. Oh, <clears throat> what? Did I miss this? He plays Heartless Intimidator, okay. Yeah, uh, backhanded compliments. Intimidator, ooh, that's nice. So, he plays Intimidator but no Truth Seekers, so that's kind of interesting. Probably not gonna see the Heartless Intimidator buy here though. We see Philosopher from Noiko, and the 1 to 1 bid of course. Yeah, on on our game monk here, gonna do some sweet, sweet work here.
see fire poke from the alibi artist probably gonna be on resto mm. probably to dishonor either right Subo or the philosopher He might just defend here with the mendicant or something. Or, yeah, he could just not defend because he doesn't want to get court gamed. It would have been the same result. Fine katana. Okay, he wants to break restoration. And, ooh, this is really good actually because he, wastes, he plays a fine katana, which he probably won't need. Use a stronghold to increase power of. About this and break restoration, and that, that's really good because Kelfessel is on 13 cards. That's gonna be a big swing here. Place a finger jade on Philosopher. It's two out of three fingers. And now Kalfessel has to play his hand. <laughs> so we see the secret knowledge. We see court games to honor. Might as well. We see backhanded compliment. Did he have all three? He had two. Okay, only two. <laughs> and the cloud. Yeah, poking resto is a bit of a risk because... Oh yeah, that's a really big risk actually. Because Dragon runs attachments. And they have box. So yeah, that was... Uh, that was... Uh, really dangerous move actually. And now we have to play the backhanded compliments uh, uh, preemptively. Or what do you call it? Uh, before he could uh, uh, make his final move and uh, win the game with him. So now Nyoiko is sitting pretty comfortably, comfortably on 5 honor here. See, discarding duty for shame, I can swim and way of the scorpion. Discarding a for shame here, interesting. Tranquil philosopher to move some fate. Yeah, the earth ring here is going to be really good. Kicking down scorpion to. Three cards. Ooh, finding mid -right travels, bowing Ritsugu. Does he remove the finger here though? Because Ritsugu is clouded, so he is. He's not that big, uh, much of a threat here. So he figures might as well bow him. Hurricane Punch. There's the first sensor out of three. Two vessel passes. There's a third. Hurricane punch and another sensor. Two vessel passes. Does he have the bonsai as well? No, he has the Void Fist. And the third sensor. Wow, so he kept three sensors. Ooh, what a hand. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
<laughs> what the hell? So we had he had Cloud of Mind, Court Games, Backhand and Backhand and Duty for Shame, I Can Swim, Wave to Scorpion, and Three Sensors. And they forged Edict for the second Void Fist. Wow! He kept four cancels. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. So, Nyoiko had to burn three hurricane punches and two void fists. And he ran straight into three sensors and a forged edict. Oh, that hurts. Ooh. That's not a great find for Kelfessil. Yeah, he's uh, looking to be in a tight spot here. <laughs> Zero cards in hand. And finding shameful display. Plays Illusion. Oh, yeah, he has Edimoon Dojo. So you can play Illusionist into the conflict. Yoiko probably has some answer to that. I mean, yeah, fight on to ready Retsugu. I mean, does he really care about Void here? He won't get the favor because of rings. And Retsugu is on two fate. Fankatana, is there a let go here then? Let go for the cloud and then the duel on the illusionist. Yep. Uh, no, no, all or nothing. He has three uh, display of power, one secret knowledge, and one karmic twist. Yeah, so suddenly Scorpion doesn't look that dangerous actually. With uh, no cards in hand and two fates. Yeah, this is a bit of an uphill battle for Mr. Kelfessil. And a four fated Tranquil Philosopher is not a good sign as well. Uh, plusing one honor each turn. Now we're probably gonna see Mitsu to get those Hurricane Punches and Void Fists back. Or an Investigator, that's also a very good character against Scorpion. Goes for the Alchemist for the honor, sure. Uh, liar, get some cards back, and the investigator. He dumps all his fate into these characters, seeing his uh, board advantage, and uh, plays into it even more, looking to break two more promises this turn probably. It's gonna be secret cash and meditations on the Tao. We see Intimidator milling a Reprieve. Interesting choice to not play any more characters. When you're... Yeah, that's bold bidding one. Uh, and not buying any characters because that means that he's down on board and he has no cards in hand. And he has a bunch of fate that he could have used. I mean, a military conflict is pretty much free here, right? And then he bow, yeah, watering for military, and then bowing the either the liar or the secret knowledge. Go 
going for meditations, sure. He can just he has the finger of jade still. No defense. <laughs> Did he find a split of power? I mean, uh, probably defense is pointless here. Yeah, because right to go the. We're gonna see a pass, okay. A break on meditations and bow the liar, yes. Okay, Kelfessel is in a really tight spot here. Going for a military air, finding appalling authority. That's a good find. Something that I can poke around on and uh, keep hitting all game. We see Noiko. Not triggering Master Alchemist here. That's a bit of a miss. Now we can go free on Midnight Revels. Oh yeah. So we could have gotten a free honor here. Because he is going for the firing. A bit of a miss there, but he's kind of ahead here. Finding the icon swim. Plays a court games, so not breaking. He could use, oh he plays an Orn fan, yeah now he's breaking, and that's three provinces gone. And we're on what, turn three? Four. Okay. Yeah, Kelfasil really needs to buy all the characters and draw all the cards for next turn because this is a big board. And with Mitsu in the province row, it's gonna get even bigger and more punchier. And that's a terrible <laughs> flop for Kelfessil. Finding two holdings. Oh wow. That is super, super rough for the Netherland Scorpion player. See Mitsu played with one fate. Yoiko passes. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Kelfessel needs to buy bid five here. What can he do here? He can go water with the like the Shadow Shaper to bow Retsugu, maybe Mark of Shame here. That's a good Mark of Shame. Then a Finger of Jade. He has dropped two Icon Swims, but he is... Uh, uh, he is showing that he is prepared to play a third one because he does play three icon swims, which I find is great. Can dragon swims? Could go for air as well. Um, yeah, to get the three keepers. That's a net plus two military skill. Uh, it does decide to defend with right Sugi here though. No. Defense with the investigator. What does he have in hand? 
Scorns är Forged Edict, we see Display of Power, Backhand Compliment, Kikyo, Assassination, Assassination. Oh, that's a terrible lap. <laughs> yeah, this is over, right? Let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21, versus 2. Yeah, this is over. Uh, Plays back in and confident to draw a card. Finding a court games um, to his honor. Yeah, we we'll just let this go because that is five plus eleven, that's sixteen. So he is winning on board. Because there's 5 here, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 2, that's 13, and then 17, 18. So yeah, I would, I would just let this go. This is... Yeah. <laughs> And he has the assassination to win the conflict. And then just smash face. No, why are you going political, my friend? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, he is uh, very much ahead on political skill as well. No defense and the pass. That's game. Yeah, that restoration hit was uh, really bad for <laughs> the token display of power. Yeah, uh, that uh, restoration hit was really rough for Kelfast. Yeah, disrespecting the errated resto there. Uh, it is still a great province. Uh, it is one of the on-break provinces that are still great. It's just that it isn't, isn't broken anymore. Well, in this game it is broken. And that's why it was so good in this game. And yo, no, yeah, no calling in favors as well. But <laughs> keeping those four cancels was great. Sensor, <laughs> sensor, sensor, forged edict. Oh, that's great. So that was France taking the win here. Let's have a look at the scoreboard before we go. If my yes computer wants to. So that was the first game of France versus Netherlands. So it's 1-0. Uh, let's have a look at the others. Austria has won one game. Anything else? New. No. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, have a nice evening or morning or whatever it is, it is where you are. Take care.